Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Got our NBA, 30th of November. Uh, regular games, a lot of them are back-to-back. Projected start lineups, nothing crazy, nothing confirmed yet. Uh, it's 5 o'clock, getting to the video late, but uh, should be back on schedule. Do got a few player props. Let's get right. So first up, we got uh, Philly at Detroit, 7 o'clock game. Going with Beasley, uh, 12 and a half points, minus 136, FanDuel. I actually played it at 13 and a half. It just went down. Well, you can all line it down. Lowest you get it right now, 12 and a half, a decent number. Uh, 13 and a half, so minus 104. It's been doing pretty well. Uh, overall, Philly ranked 17th. Uh, shooting guard ranked 8th. They have uh, Embiid is going to be out. He's ruled out. Um, George's game time decision. He hasn't been playing, but he should be back in. Uh, no Pistons out. I mean, there's a Piston out, but not a real, a real player. Uh, Beasley been doing real good. Coming off the bench now. Uh, as you see, been going way over this. I'm kind of confused why it's so low. Uh, averaging like three, at least three threes a game. You just got it so juiced. Uh, takes a lot of threes. He's exceeded 13 and a half points, 11 of his last 12 games. Uh, for the year, 43% from the field, 40% from three. I mean, these last 10, he's been shooting plenty of plenty of shots. Uh, Minutes-wise, doing pretty good as well. 30. Break it down a little. Let's break it down to the last five. Averaging 16 points. Uh, 31 minutes. Staying out of foul trouble. And uh, four threes in these last five games, he's averaging. So, you know, if everything goes right, he should easily go over this. Um, I don't see Beasley sitting, even though it's a back-to-back. -back. I mean, he's a bench player, uh, definitely a contributor. Uh, I think he should go over this head-to-head. -head. They played once this year. He had 11, uh, shot bad, three for 10. Well, that's on threes, but still. Uh, four for 11 field goals. 25 minutes. He should get a little more than that. Uh, yeah, so first up, Beasley, 12 and a half points. Let's get it. All right, next up, uh, Stewart. He's the center. Comes off the bench. Uh, points over five and a half. Minus 128. FanDuel, 130, 135, DraftKings. Uh, same game. Philly overall ranked 17th. Points allowed to the center. Ranked 12th. Now, 62% uh, hit rate, 13 to 21 out of the year. You know, it's averaging uh, bench point, uh, bench minutes, 18, 20. Averaging 21 for the year. Minutes. Uh, his last two games, he's been off. So uh, he only had two shots last game. The game before that, he won six shots, zero points. Uh, he's exceeded five and a half and 11 of his last 14, averaging eight. He don't get a lot of points, but as you see, he goes over this. Uh, so far this year, he hasn't missed his line more than two games in a row. Two bad games, pick it up. Uh, 
was trying to figure stuff out. You know, I liked it at five and a half. It's three baskets. Um, we go back to last year. Yeah, you know, a couple more baskets, but the same thing. He hasn't missed him more than two times in a row. Hopefully he just get whether it's some putbacks or get three plays. I mean, it's three baskets. He should be able to go over it. Uh, you know, a lot of times I, I look at stats, data, analytics, and you'll see this is head-to-head. He cleared it one time this year, seven points. Uh, what do you play? 34 minutes. Uh, 105 to 95, so it wasn't really a blowout. But um, as I was saying, like, uh, I'll look at plays, right? And then you'll see, like, say a guy, say he hit him these five times in a row, and it will play, and he'll have an off day. So I'm figuring he had two off days, maybe he'll have a bounce back day, right? And uh, we'll get him. So let's get it. Uh, Isaiah Stewart points over five and a half. We got that six and a half for plus 105 all lined it back. It's 124 on uh, FanDuel. Now, a couple of different numbers. FanDuel, if you're new to the channel, um, you just got to pay attention. Sometimes they'll have the guy's name, like say Gary Trent, points over nine and a half. Sometimes they'll have it say 10 plus and then have a list of names. And then sometimes, you know, in different scenarios. So just make sure you look around and always get the lowest number. Uh, DraftKings minus 150. So it's been like this for a couple hours too. But uh, so some discrepancies, Caesars minus 190, um, you know, so get it where you fit in, right? 59% uh, hit rate, 9 to 16. His last few games definitely been better. Break it down to the last five. Four out of the last five. He didn't miss this last game versus Miami on the 26th. They've had a couple days rest. Uh, Washington overall. Ranked 29th to points. 25th to the shooting guard. Averaging 28 minutes. Um... He's had a bad shooting day that day. Uh, four field goals a game, shooting 50%, shooting 80% from three. His last five, he's averaging four. Four made threes. He's exceeded nine and a half and 11 of his last 14 versus the bottom 10 defense points allowed. Head-to-head. Uh, 100% -head. hit rate uh, all last year. I think it was more minutes till you yeah, 35 minutes. But uh, I think he should be good to go. Let's get it. Gary Trent Jr. Not sure. Been watching him. He's been doing pretty good. Should have been playing him sooner. Uh, points over 14 and a half or 15 plus. Make sure you look because they got it minus 140 and then minus 154. Uh, FanDuel, DraftKings minus 170, Caesars minus 200, playing Utah, uh, points allowed to the small forward, rank 15th, but overall rank 27th. It's clear there's five out of the last five. Uh, shooting the ball pretty good, field goals, averaging about nine, nine made, 15 attempts, 60%. 50% uh, averaging about two threes. Exceeded 15 and a half points for his last five games on the road, averaging 20. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Najee Marshall. If you could like the video, 
new viewers hit that subscribe button or turn on your notifications so you get all my plays my live bets anything i do I try to be as transparent as possible if uh you could leave a comment likes and comments help get the videos out there as well as some interaction between us some feedback definitely appreciate it all right john collins points and rebounds over 24 and a half uh, cleared this four out of the last five for the year, 59% hit rate. Uh, playing Dallas, points allowed, ranked 10th, rebounds allowed, like 17th. To the power forward, it's 11th and 18th. Uh, he's been going over this almost in points alone, pretty close, gets a lot of rebounds. Uh, has exceeded 27 and a half in four of the last five, averaging 33. And uh, I all lined it down to 24 and a half. John Con FanDuel DraftKings playing Utah overall ranked sixth to the shooting guard ranked 21st. His last five, he's been averaging seven. Uh, he had seven versus New York. It's kind of a grudge game. He used to play them, so he did good all around. But uh, seven versus Miami, four versus Denver. Um, I don't expect him to go crazy like in seven, but hopefully he'll get over it. Um, yeah, geez, he's been doing well, so I think he should be able to get it. So last 10 games, you know, for the year, 47% hit rate. I don't know what happened to the screen. But also, I had to move locations. A bunch of family members came in and shit, so uh, just trying to finish this up. All right, so if you could like the video, new viewers, subscribe. It's money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs>